Hi guys, so today I am going to be unboxing NCT 2018's Empathy albums. I have both the dream version as well as the reality version. Um, this is one that I've been extremely excited to unbox because what can I even say about NCT at this point? Um, I really, really enjoyed, I really enjoyed this, um, comeback, all the title tracks, um, and I just love that I've been able to finally see them all as a unit, um, or as an entire group, all 18 of them, um, as well as the new, like, the newer members too. I love them all so much, and NCT have really become one of my favorite groups, um, recently. I've just, I've just been enjoying their stuff so much, all their content, be it, like, music as well as, like, you know, V-Live type stuff or interviews. I'm just, there's such an innovative and creative idea, and yeah, it's really exciting to me. So yeah, uh, let's go through the dream version first. So I'll take it out. And then go through the track listing. Okay, so as you can see, really colorful. Um, and here's a track listing. There are 13 tracks in all, and they are Intro, Neo Got My Back, Boss, which was a title track for NCTU, Baby Don't Stop, also NCTU title track, but specifically Taeyong and Ten, Go, Dream's title track, Touch, 127's title track, Yesterday, again, NCTU, and Black on Black, which is NCT 28, all of NCT, NCT 2018's um, song together. Then, of course, we have like older releases like Timeless, Seventh Sense, Without You, All of You, um, Without You Chinese version, Dream in a Dream, which is Tens, SM Station, and then Outro Vision. So yeah, um, there are a lot of, um, just all the title tracks are incredible, and um, I just really enjoyed every single one of them. I will say that my favorite was Boss, I think. Boss because at least the teasers were the ones that I was most excited for. I loved the styling for Boss. One of my favorite, like, K-pop stylings ever. Just, like, the black, like, uniform outfits with the chains. Um, I loved, like, in the music video and when they performed on, used them to perform on stages. So good. Um, I also really like, like, Timeless. I always liked Timeless, though. And Without You was one of my favorite NCT, NCT songs in general. Um, and Black on Black, because Black on Black is really special to me, because, um, when I was on holiday, and I was coming back from my holiday, uh, when I was on the plane, um, there was, like, a really bad bout of turbulence when we were landing, and I literally, the only thing that got me through, like, my anxiety attack was listening to Black on Black over and over again and focusing on the beat, so yeah, because of that, I have, like, very, like, special memories attached to it, and, um, yeah. So, it's one of my favorites as well. <laughs> Definitely. Okay. So, box album. I'm gonna take out all the stuff. I think the card is in the box somewhere, so... Let me just take everything out. Okay, so we have the CD. lyrics uh fold out as you can see let's go do the photo book
He's so beautiful. I, like everyone else, kind of got wrecked by Lucas. Um, oh my god, win-win. of course um but yeah with the new with kun and lucas and jungwoo um i've known about them for a while like most other like nct and citizens um i did note this is so cute <laughs> oh i'm so sorry i'm getting like distracted by pictures <laughs> um but yeah i did know about them for quite a while now and before they debuted, I really thought that Jungu was going to be my favorite. Because when I watched, like, the lives that they used to do, um, I really liked Jungu. And I still really like Jungu. But, like, I didn't expect for Lucas to come and, like, <laughs> wreck everyone else for me. Um, I feel like that's a very common thing. Hmm. Yeah, I just think that it's it happened to a lot of people. Um, but the thing with NCT is that I don't have like just one bias in NCT anyway. So um, I've always had like my first NCT bias was actually ten. Way 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 back. Um, yeah, it was ten, and then in Dream. My biases are Jisung and Chunla, and then in 127 they're Taeyong and Winwin, and now I love Lucas and Jongu too. So, who even knows at this point? I can't just have one bias. How is it possible for people to just have one bias in NCT? I have no idea. She <laughs> looks so cute. My favorite stages um, were Boss, I think, and Touch. I loved the styling for Touch as well. It was just so cute and win-win in a beret. Like, one of the best things ever. Um, and Utah. Utah looked amazing during Touch stages. And Taeyong, of course, but Taeyong is like universally just, he always looks good. These pictures are so beautiful. Also, Jamin's been coming for me too, so... I've given up. It's still so jarring to me when I see like the dream kids do more mature concepts like Go and um, Black on Black. Because they're still way big. Except like obviously Hitchan and Mark, but like. I always think of them as my kids. <laughs> And 
and again especially fun to dream because they were the first NCT unit that I ever loved. And then thanks to, yeah, oh, tens is in English. It's cute, sorry. <laughs> Oh no, they're just talking about the songs, I think. Um, anyway, that is the uh, dream one. But it does come with stuff, so I'll go through everything first. Um, of course, you get a standard SM ad. Okay, but other stuff it comes with. Okay, so there is a, I don't know, diary thing. I cannot tell whose this is. Um, 2000 and Chinese, so Renjun maybe? Possibly? <laughs> um, but yeah, cute, cute little diary entry thing. And then for the photo card, for the photo card I got, I got Chongu. Oh, I'm so torn because I was like, I knew that I was going to collect Taeyong, Win Win, Ten, Jisung, Chenla, and Lucas. But I was al I always said to myself if I pull Jongwu, I would I might not be able to trade him away, because <laughs> I do. He's just so cute. So um, I don't know. I'm keeping this for now, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna move straight into the next version, the reality version. So you can already see, less colourful. Um, track listing is of course the same, so I won't go through that. Okay, sorry, just taking everything out again. And let's go through the poster, not poster, lyrics, well, lyrics poster, I guess. And the CD. One of the things that I love about NCT comebacks is that I never know what unit is going to come back. So when this was announced, I was so excited for it. Because we've never really seen all 18 together performing. And it's funny because one of the reasons it took me quite a long time to get into NCT because um, I got into them like I think I sort of got into them I got into Dream because of my first and last but I didn't get into NCT like 127 until 
like a month after they released Limitless, I think. A month or two months after they'd released Limitless because I thought it was like just a really con hard concept for me to understand like all the different subunits and different like and how many members there were but I feel like once you're in it it's like it's the easiest thing to understand ever. <laughs> it's like pretty straightforward honestly in my opinion anyway. And I'm really happy that the three new members finally got added to NCT officially. Because they really feel like they've boosted NCT's popularity in some way, especially Lucas. Because I know so many people that have kind of gotten into NCT because of Lucas. Which I get because he's super extra. I'm really into extra members as well. These are all so cute. Damn. He's literally, he's so, he's just too beautiful for this world. And Lucas too, like I remember the first time channel. The first time that I saw Lucas when he was first introduced as an SM rookie. I couldn't believe how beautiful he was. Just from the pictures, like the teaser pictures alone. I love Timeless. Group participation. Mm, Lucas and Kitten. Oh my gosh. Mark and Taya. Oh, I love Wingman and Renjun. <laughs> Chinita. That's cute. All the like pairing <laughs> pairings, um, Jian and Jamin and Ten. <laughs> Jisung and Johnny. These shirts are so cute. Mm, my biases, my one two seven biases. That is it for the reality photo book, but I'll go through everything as usual. Um, again, SM ad then for the oops, for the um, diary entry. I got Kuns. And for the photo card, I got I got Jimin. Oh, I'm so confused. I'm so confused because Jimin and and Jungwoo are actually both the members that I was like 
debating collecting because I I already want to collect like six members, but but they're kind of like my bias records I guess if if you can have six biases in NCT, um. They're also like two of my faves, and I don't know what to do. Um. So yeah. Um. So for the time being, at least, I'm definitely gonna put this up for trade or sale. The diary entries. This is Coons, and I think. I actually don't know if this one is whose this one is, but um, I'll look it up. This is the date here, it's 2018, and this one is 2000, which is why I'm assuming that this is a 2000 liner, and I think it's Renjun's, but I'm not sure, so I'll have to look it up. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm as always, I'm excited for NCT's next comeback, because I really have no idea. I know that they released, they're releasing, 127 are releasing a Japanese album. I think the digital release was actually today as I'm filming, but the physical one won't be for, till like, near the end of May, 20-somethings of May. Um, and so yeah, I'm really, really excited about that because I don't normally collect, um, Japanese albums that aren't my top three groups, or my top three, um, top three boy groups or top two girl groups, but... I'm so tempted because I really liked Chain, um, so we'll see. And yeah, I'm excited for what other, you know, future subunits are going to happen and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching.